there he is, back in the house, getting you some chainsaw action. Back out here at the property, and I have decided in my last few days with the excavator, I'm gonna clear all this out right here. I'm gonna get me a, I'm gonna leave some on the tree. Well, I don't know. We're gonna see tomorrow. We'll see what it looks like. However, I'm gonna start to get a lot of these trees behind me, a lot of little saplings out of the way, let the big ones grow, cause you gotta have big trees, right? So let's do that. Let's do it. Well, it's cleaning up pretty nice. Well. <laughs> they say I should just use a forestry mulcher, but got this excavator, so why not use it, right? Um, still gonna pay for a forestry mulcher anyway, no matter what. I've got a lot more that I want to cut down tomorrow. This lets me get in here. So now, like, this guy right here, we'll cut it down. That's gonna be a fence post. This one's gonna be a fence post. That one's gonna be a fence post. I'm not wasting wood. This one's gonna be a fence post. I can get in here and I can clean up this trash in here. I can build up my bank that's right back here. That way I can get in there and put rock up in there so I don't run water down here. Yeah, I'm liking it. Starting to get dark, so I'm gonna start getting cleaned up now. <laughs> it won't come out. But yeah, this thing is fun. If you get a chance, rent yourself an excavator. They're amazing tools. Just uh, pay for the extra insurance up front. I think I have a, <laughs> a dented light cover from a tree falling on it. Make sure it's got a roll cage too. Unless you got a big giant one. Most of this stuff, these big ones, I'm going to come and I'm going to trim those um, later on. And what we'll do is we'll limb these now. Because I'm only going to use where I can reach anyway. So I'll limb these so I don't have to do it. And I can just go put it, stack it on the wood pile. But these are all cedar, so they'll work great for the uh, fence posts because i got to get a fence all the way around this. And then cattle, cattle panel, chicken panel, I don't know, just to keep the animals in, the dog and the kid. I figured this would be a nice little playground area for Liv. We're going to leave the outside trees. And then I'll put a fence on the other side of that or right at it, one of the two. And then just clean these up so there's some we can get some grass growing. This is like a flatter spot, and I'll try to get some more dirt and flatten this part out. Maybe elevate it up a little bit. There's a big tree over here. A couple big trees that we can put a tree house in, and she could have an overlook into the road. And not many people drive down our road currently. There's only two people living on this street, <laughs> besides the ones down the other way. But uh, yeah, I like it now. And I'm going to do the same thing behind over here. I'm gonna go ahead and do it over there as well. Cause I got some timber in there I can use for sure that I need to start getting dried out. So if I can get all that dried out as well over here, that'll give us the septic field. Um, I can't go in there and do what I'm doing over here because state of Tennessee septic systems, they won't let you put it in something that's in disturbed ground. So I can pull roots out of these, but over there I won't be able to until I physically go to cut my lines in. And then I'll clear out a lot of it. But I'm going to cut down the trees that I want with the excavator now that I have it. Get it prepped up anyway. But that'll be my septic field. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen good cedars in there that are going to make great you know, whatever's. Hey, just a little quick update. Uh, I haven't been able to really hold the phone very much because I'm running the excavator, which is a pain, and then setting it up for you guys to see. But I'm sitting, well, there's the truck sitting on the pad site. I'm sitting in the front of the property. Talked it over with Kim earlier, and we agreed that we're going to open up this front area. We're going to open this up. We're going to make it. I'm going to leave that tree because that's going to protect our water line over there. But, uh, or our water spigot and whatnot. But I want to clean all this up. I'm going to leave all the big trees. 
and then the rest of this stuff is basically going to be used for fence posts it's all cedar and there's a lot of it on here so <laughs> we're going to do that and i'll have these big trees back there like this one i'm going to come in and i'm going to delim them first before i cut them down and then uh, that way i can just get in there and get it done quick and that'll give us a bunch of fence posts so i can start doing fence posts across the front as well as i'm waiting for rock or whatever else but i still got a lot more to do in there and then i'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these ones down this is where our septic field is gonna go so with that being said i can't disturb the ground so everything's gonna have to get cut down um, and I only have the excavator the rest of this weekend, so I may as well get in there and do it and start cutting those things down and give us some area right there. But that's what I'm going to do right now. Tomorrow. We'll stump it later. I think I'm cutting these down too. That's my northern angle. And that's all downhill right there, so I want to build a deck out there and kind of do some multi-levels because water runs that way so what i want to do is i want to do like a horseshoe board um holder or something like that some horseshoes across the front because our back patio and deck or whatever you want to call it, it's going to be that direction facing the north and then we'll have you know some stuff to do down there games or whatnot and then uh, the well's right there too so we'll build a pump house for it incorporate that into part of it and Maybe I can make it have a spinning water wheel type thing for show or I don't know, something. But uh, that's the direction I want to go with this. I just wish I had more money than time. And I got some more to do, but I'm going to button it up for this evening. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Happy day. I'm back out here at the property. Got the chainsaw in the background getting ready to start it up. Get it all warmed up getting ready to start uh trimming up this log right behind me there get it all limbed and then i've got a whole bunch of other stuff that i need to get over to the pile from yesterday get this thing to cooperate with me here there we go i got all that and i still have all of that so i'm gonna be cutting down a bunch of stuff today oh on top of that i think we're actually still gonna go and we're gonna do these over here too all that behind me. We're gonna clear up a bunch of it. That's gonna be the septic field. So I gotta be careful with it. So that being said, I am just gonna go in there with a chainsaw and I'm gonna start cutting stuff. Uh, this, for instance, this tree right here needs to come down so that I can use it as a fence post. That's the plan for today. So I'm gonna go move the excavator over here so I can pick this log up and once I get it picked up, then I'm going to be able to uh, start limbing it. That's what we're going to start with today.
ever gonna be a forester. Am I a forester? Does that make me a forester? I got one, two, three. I got like three more to take down right here. Yeah, three more. Next the rest are just little. Uh -huh. 